Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Creamore. Uh, it appears that Creamore Springs has put out a lot of interesting beers recently. This is Creamore's Wit Beer, which is 4.5% alcohol by volume. I'm going to assume it's a proper wheat beer, so I'm going to give it a Weiss roll as we talk here. Uh, one thing I have noticed is Creamore, even though they are owned by the big guys, they still put out fairly flavorful beers most of the time. That being said, and the reason I bring that up is there's breweries that get bought out by, say, Amheuser-Busch slash Labatt that seem to go downhill. These guys have been owned for quite some time by the big guys, and they usually still make a relatively nice beer. Um, and first and foremost, I will say, as a brewery owned by Molson, that's a wheat beer, at least by visual appeal, um, visual aspects. If you put this in front of me, I would think it's a wheat beer. Nice snap crackle pop, slightly off-white head, nice straw color, hazy fucking crazy scent. Oh my god, that is a wheat beer. Banana, orange. I'm getting more... I'm getting kind of more of a, like nutmeg slash clove than coriander scent myself out of the glass. Let's give the can a scent. A scent. A sniff. Oh, that's that's nice. It's like banana bread with, with cereal greens and a little bit of orange. Cheers. Oh. Okay. For those of you that have watched the channel in the past, you know, or that know me fairly well, and excuse me, I did burp there, so it is kind of gassy. Um, I am a big fan of wit beers, I really am. Um, Belgian wit are more my thing than German wit. Uh, this does have all the nosing of a, of a Belgian wit, tastes more like a German wit. Uh, that all being said, this is, to me, somewhat reminiscent of what the original Mill Street Wit Beer was. Their Belgian Wit, you know, had, had orange and cereal grains and, and some banana notes. And with it, this has all that. It has banana notes. It has citrus notes. It has a weedy breadiness to it that follows through. It's almost like, it's almost like a dark sourdough on the back end because it's a little bit, little bit toasty on the back end really 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 drinkable really 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 good beer uh and the reason i bring up mill street's belgian wit is i had their wit beer recently and it's been about two or three years since i've had their wit beer and a few years after they were bought out their stuff was still okay now i don't want to touch that wit beer ever again but this creamor wit beer could very easily be a replacement for that for me. It's no Who Garden to me, which is probably still one of my favorite mass-produced, accessible uh, wit beers. People, I, I put up a job posting and people are applying to it. That all being said, I actually really enjoy this. I think this is very drinkable. I would drink this again, and I would buy it again. Out of 10 on this, I'm going to give it a 7.75. It's a solid beer. Thank you, Creamore, for doing another solid brew. Cheerio.